Hello and welcome to Afterlife Topics. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel or becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Afterlife Topics. Hello everybody, welcome to Afterlife Topics. This is Cyrus, hope you're having a great afternoon, evening, wherever in the world you happen to be. So as you guys following this channel know, I've had this on-fire communication with these dowsing rods that has been pretty darn accurate. I can't say always completely accurate because there's times the communication breaks down. There's times that I have gotten inaccurate information. But by and large, I am able to get now full sentences, full paragraphs of what completely by my estimation appears to be an autonomous entity with her own thoughts, her own ideas, her own feelings, which are very distinct from my own especially given that when I pick these up, I often have, just have no idea what she's going to say, what ideas she's going to come up with, or even what words she might use or things she may tell me in a different language that I can verify. There's definitely been interference. There's definitely been issues concerning what we call the astral blockade. It's, uh, what, what she describes is almost like a computer program or an algorithm that if a communication gets too out of hand, the communication breaks down. But the good news is that when this does happen, it's, it's pretty apparent because the words I start getting is all gobbledygook. It comes up like, you know, giffle, goffle, blobble, schlobble. And then I'll know that, okay, the communication is not working. I should give it a day and come back to it. That said, when this thing is accurate, it's pretty incredible. So I want to jump ahead to uh, looking at the film, What Dreams May Come. So while I, we will be looking at more mysteries, and UFOs, and and uh, uncovering secrets to all types of things using these. I also think it's really important to talk about what we talk about in this channel, which is life after death. And people commonly ask if the film What Dreams May Come is an accurate representation. I've had some of my own opinions about this over time, but since this communicator, Lorena, uh, purports to be from a, a realm that's as high as what you saw in that film, what we would call the higher astral realm, and she's shared with me personally quite a few things about her conditions on that side. Uh, I figure uh, she might be the one to ask about if uh, Robin Williams's afterlife epic has validity or not. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to write up a whole review. It takes a while. I'm, I'm not going to film the entire process, just part of it because it does take a long time. And it might be boring for some of you guys, but I at least want to film as I get, get it going. So with that said, let's continue. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to this channel. That way you can get videos like this in your feed. It's the only way. And the notification bell actually assures that because sometimes YouTube does block this channel from coming up in people's feeds. And also, if you want to become a patron, now it's a really important time to do that. Uh, we're in summer. I'm trying to work on a lot of projects and doing all this stuff and juggling a lot. And so your support greatly helps keep this channel going. With that said, let's go ahead and continue to the project. Lorena, are you with me? Okay, so what can you tell me about what dreams may come? A couple sentences maybe, what your review is, but if it's accurate, if it's not accurate. Um, so A to H. I to P. I. I, hmm, is this a pronoun? Are you saying it's, okay. Okay, A to H, A, it's A, A to H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, good. Are you, are you, are you, G, are you, are you spelling good? Okay. It's, will the next film be, will the next word be film or movie? Film, okay. Period or keep going? Conjunction? 
and it's a good film and A to H I to P Q to Z Q R S T U V V Vowel A E V E Are you saying very? A to H A to H I to P Q to Z Q R R R Vowel A E R E Vowel a, are you saying real, R-E-A, are you saying realistic? Okay, next word, A to H. A, B. Vowel A A B A A Did the, was that a false positive? A is a false positive. E E I O O U B U Are you saying but? Okay. Should we use a pronoun? I T apostrophe S. Okay. All right, so let's go over exactly what Lorena wrote out. And this took a while. Um, I've been at this for about 45 minutes. She says, it's a good film and very realistic, but it's also just a movie. Don't take it too seriously. Sinning won't keep you in a dark realm like portrayed. And she goes on to say, reincarnation isn't something that means you must or something that you must listen to as religion. The grammar is a little bit funny. Reincarnation isn't something that means you must listen to as religion. I think that she meant to say, it just isn't something that we should take so literally, like it's a religious thing, you know, you have to reincarnate. I asked her if that would happen, like seen in the film where they reincarnate back together again as like children to meet each other all over again on earth. And she just said, no, that, that doesn't happen like, like what's portrayed in real life. You, you never see that happen. I also asked her about if, if she's ever been in a realm made of like paint, you know, a, a thought, thought responsive world just made by, uh, look, it lo looks like going into someone's paintings. And she said, no. I asked if, that's a, if, if a world like that were possible to exist. And she said, yes. Uh, and if similar types of places exist. And she said, yes. I ask why Robin Williams' character wouldn't just live in that realm with his wife and, I don't know, adapt into a new existence, get a job, uh, live with people there. And if, if, if she agreed with that idea, then she spelled out that she agreed. Uh, one of the big issues, I think, with the film is that there is something also that feels very subjective about it. Even though he goes into heaven and he's around other people, and he's around his dog, and he's around those, and those are the woman he meets. And there's elements that seem like an objective, tangible reality. When you watch, 
what dreams may come, you also kind of come away with this perception like, is this mostly or in part or you know, generally kind of in, his, in, in, in the protagonist's mind? more than an object you know some, something that's really going on with other people in a you know quote real environment so i hope this video was helpful very interesting information leave your comments down below tell me what you thought and as always you can get involved and discuss this and other topics at afterlife topics and metaphysics on facebook thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video